Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for more civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the basic rules for the design of the column. In this lecture, we are going to discuss some uh, basics concept and uh, rules which should be which should we follow during the design of the column. So starting from the first rule, the first rule for the design of the column is uh, that the concrete strength, concrete strength used in the column should not be less than the should not be less than the uh, 20 MPa megapascal or we can say 3000 psi it should not the concrete used in the column should must have the strength of 3000 psi or greater than the 3000 or have Two, uh, we can see 220 uh, 20 megapascal or greater than the 20 megapascal. The second rule is about the design of the column is uh, that the minimum size of the column, the minimum minimum size of RCC column should not should not should not be less than the 9 inches cross 9 inches it means if you have any cross section of the column that let's suppose this is the cross section of the column this is the width and this is the depth of the column uh, we can see d so it should at least have the dimensions of 9 inches and 9 inches it should not be less than these two values but however we can provide greater than the 9 inches and 9 inches but should not be less than the uh, 9 inches and 9 inches. The third rule for the design of the column is uh, that uh, we must provide the leaping length and the leaping length for the column is leaping length for column for column is 48 into diameter of the bar. The D is represented the diameter of the bar and the smallest diameter of the bar. For example, if this is my column and I, I, I want to overlay these two reinforcement, one is this steel bar and one is this reinforcement. So the leaping length, this is called the leaping length and uh, this leaping length should be, uh, should must have a length of 48 into D where D is the uh, diameter of the smaller bar. Whether this is a smaller bar or this is a smaller bar, we should put the value of D and we should multiply with the 48 we should get the value of the leaping length. What should this length of the lap of the column should be? Uh, this is a very important uh, point for the design of the column. The fourth point is that we should must provide the four number of bars, four number of bars in case of the uh, rectangular column. These are the minimum number of bars we should provide in case of the rectangular column. While in case of the uh, circular column, we should must provide the six number of bars. Six number of bars we should provide in case of the circular column. So I like consider this is an rectangular column. So we should provide minimum of four four number of bars. These are the longitudinal bars. In case of the circular column, we should provide the six number of bars. One, two, three, four, five, and six. These are the minimum requirement for the uh, design of the any column that we should must provide four number of bars in case of the rectangular and six number of bars in case of the circular. The fifth and the last point is about the design of the column is uh, that the ties, the ties uh, should have, the ties should be number three bar for longitudinal bars of number four to number ten. And the ties should be uh, number four bar. If the longitudinal bars is number 11 are greater than 11. Are greater than 11. It means if, if, this is my, if this is my column and these are the longitudinal bars and these longitudinal bars are uh, number four bar, are greater than the number four and up to the number 10 bar. So we should provide the number third bar is the tie bar. 
but if this longitudinal bar is number 11 bar are greater than the number 11 so we should provide the ties is number 4 bar number 4